Hi, Shannon New here. I wanted to take a few moments to tell you about the Five Under 35 initiative. This is something I'm really proud of. It's been my baby for four years now. It's a program idea that came about from being a young adult myself. I'm 30. I've lived in this community for about nine years. And I've, through conversations and through things I've seen myself, uh, there's this, this issue, if you want to call it that, of Great Falls being able to attract and then retain young professionals in our community, that young adult population. So I thought in my position as someone who's been on TV, been in this community for a while, and someone who's a journalist, what can I do to help try to solve that issue? And I thought, let's start by recognizing people who are already here doing great things. So this program goes beyond a good deed recognition. While there are many, many people of all ages who are doing amazing things for our community, this program's a little bit different because it has in mind that specific goal of the young adult population and what we can do to create more positive attitudes about being in Great Falls as a young adult. That's something that uh, really gets to me because I hear a lot of people um, that say negative things, but there are so many great things about our community. And so what we do is we solicit nominations from the community. This year we got more than 50, which was exciting in and of itself to see that there are more than 50 people right now who have great attitudes about being here. So that in and of itself is something to build off of. So we had the hard decision, a committee of us decided on the final five for this year. They're a little bit higher, more towards the 35 age, age range this year than they have been in the past. We have a 29 year old, a 33 year old, a 34 year old, and two 35 year olds. And they're awesome. They cover all different spectrums of the community. And this is just something I really hope will be an encouragement to the community. A lot of people talk about the negativity that they see in the news. Well, this is something positive, and this is something I hope that KRTV will continue for years and years to come. So I hope you're encouraged by these people, and I hope that you're encouraged to have a positive attitude about wherever you are and the impact you can have on your community.